Hello students, I welcome you to yet another intriguing and interesting class with me in government. In our previous lesson, I taught you the Nigerian federalism. Today we'll be taking the step further by looking at the structure and features of Nigerian federalism. I will be exposing you to the history of state creation in Nigeria, how it all started in 1914 with the amalgamation of the Southern and Northern Protectorate to 1939, where it was renamed from Protectorate to Provinces to 1949, where they metamorphosed from Provinces to Regions and to 1963 to four regions, and then to state creation by Yakubu Gowon. First of all, you have to take notes of the nursing objectives that by the end of this topic, you should be able to discuss the structure of Nigerian federalism, identify the main features, explain revenue and location in Nigerian federalism, and also highlight the major problems of the Nigerian federalism. You should also Bear in mind, because in our previous class, I told you the essence of federalism is for government to be brought closer to the people at the grassroots. That is the essence of federalism, for government to be brought closer to the people at the grassroots, to ensure development. That is the essence of federalism. Because when the country is too big, there is need for federal system. And let's look at the structure of Nigerian federalism. We'll be looking at the structure of Nigerian federalism under the following heading. One, we'll be looking at federalism before independence. Two, federalism from 1960 to 1966. Three, we shall look at Federalism from 1967 to 1975, and also we will be considering federalism from 1976 to date. We shall take them one after the other. Federalism from that is federalism before independence. Federalism before independence. Don't forget that Nigeria was colonized by Britain. And so, in 1914, when Britain was in charge of Nigeria, the Southern and Northern Protectorates were amalgamated. The colonial system of government in Nigeria introduced centralization of power. So, from the time of Clifford, Till about 1939, powers of administration and government were centralized. However, in 1939, the Southern Protectorate was split into Western and Eastern provinces. The Northern Protectorate was changed to a province, bringing the provinces to three that is, the Northern, Eastern, and Western provinces. In 1946, regions were created out of the existing three provinces. So the provinces were named regions. So they became Eastern, Western, and Northern regions. So with the emergence of the 1951 constitution, which was Mark Fassen, the native powers we are spelled out and shared between the House of Representatives and regional houses of assembly. Also, the constitution gave executive power to the newly created Council of Ministers. The president of the council was the governor, while four ministers represented each region. However, the 1954 Nititi Constitution introduced a federal system of government in Nigeria. It came after the 1953 Northern Constitutional Conference where it was agreed that a federal system should be set up with the regions becoming autonomous 
and giving residual legislative functions without the central government interference. Now let's look at federalism between 1960 to 1967. Now, when Nigeria gained independence in 1960, it inherited the three regions from the colonial masters. Not until the year 1963, when the Midwest region was created out of the former Western region, with the creation of Midwest region, Nigeria was now made up of four regions. So there were four regions in the country. So let's look at federalism between 1967 to 1975. This era was the era of military intervention. First, Agui Rossi made Decree 34 in 1966, which introduced unitary system. And when Yakubu Gowan took over office, he created 12 states out of the existing four regions. This period witnessed the Nigerian Civil War. Let's look at federalism from 1976 to date. You must take note that General Motana Mohammed created seven more states in 1975 to make a total of 19 states. And afterward, the regime of Ibrahim Babangida on 23rd September 1987 created two states, Akwaibom and Kasena. Babangida also created nine more states in 1993. And Nigeria was made up of 30 states and Abuja, the FCT. Again, General Sani Abacha created six states on 1st October 1996, making a total of 36 states with Abuja which is the FCT. Now let's look at the features of Nigerian federalism. What are the various characteristics of Nigerian federalism? Among the various features of the Nigerian federalism is one, constitutional division of power, written and rigid constitution, Secession is not allowed. Nigeria has bicameral legislature as a federal state. There is supremacy of the constitution. Then the Supreme Court. Utilities of government derive power from the constitution. Let's look at revenue allocation in Nigerian federalism. There have been so many issues faced with the Nigerian federalism. One contentious issue was and still remains the issue of revenue allocation in Nigeria. The question is how should revenue be shared in Nigeria? There have been various considerations. One principle of derivation, which explains that large portion be given back to area where resources were derived from. Then population, based on population of certain places, equality of states to ensure even development, and then minimum national standard is also a consideration. Now that takes us to the various problems of Nigerian federalism. There have been so many problems of Nigerian federalism. We just highlighted problem of revenue allocation. So among the various problems in Nigerian federalism is revenue allocation. This has to do with how the revenue should be shared in Nigeria. And at different 
periods, governments have set up different commission to advise her on acceptable revenue sharing formula. Again, there is problem of minority issues, the problem of state creation, problem of federal character, corruption, favoritism, and nepotism, boundary disputes, fear of secession, and then there has also been problem of census when some regions or states inflate their census figure. In conclusion, this lesson is an intellectual discourse of the structure and features of Nigerian federalism. It concisely explained the history of state's creation in Nigeria. The various problems of Nigerian federalism were also highlighted. This is all I have for you today. Until we meet again in our next class. Do have a wonderful time to yourself. Goodbye.